We're in a new module, module four, about rates and proportionality. This is 4.1a, Exploring Rates. Here are some commonly used rates. Miles per hour, miles per gallon of gas, subscription fee per month, or wages per hour. Commonly used rates make it easy to understand and compare rates. Remember, a rate is a ratio that compares two quantities measured in different units, like the unit miles compared to an hour. We can use a bar diagram to model a rate problem. Dave's car can travel six miles on one-fourth gallon of gasoline. How far will his car travel with one gallon or two gallons? Here we have a bar diagram, and it's showing six miles for one-fourth gallon. One-fourth means one of four parts, so we make four of them. We can see that one whole gallon would be 24 miles. We do the six times the four parts. For two gallons, we would just do the 24 miles per gallon times two. That would be 48 miles. The rate is 24 miles per gallon. We could find three gallons, four gallons, as long as we know this rate. So we know that Dave's car will go six miles on each one-fourth gallon. Another six miles, another six miles, another six miles. So we know it's 24, 24 miles for one gallon. We can complete a table for the distance and gas used for Dave's car using multiples of six. We have six for each one-fourth gallon. One-fourth gallon is six. One-half, that's two-fourths, that would be twelve. We could do six times two. And for three-fourths, we'd have three of these. That would be six times three, that would be eighteen. 6 times 4 is 24. Since 24 miles is 1 gallon, well then 2 gallons must be 48. And for this empty space, that's 4 gallons, we could do 24 times 4. We could also do 48 times 2 and double this, because 4 is double 2, isn't it? This would be 96 miles with 4 gallons. We can also complete the table by multiplying by the rate. We can say, since we know 24 miles is one gallon, we could find 3 fourths by doing 24 times 3 fourths. That's going to give us 72 fourths, which simplifies to 18. That's what we've got in our table. And 24 times 2 is equal to 48, and 24 times 4 is equal to 96. We can use number patterns to complete Dave's table and calculate the distance his car can travel from one half gallon to one gallon of gasoline without finding the distance of three-fourths gallon. If six miles is one-fourth gallon, we're doing six times one. To find this space in the table, we would do six times two, which is twelve, and if you see, I wrote the fractions so they weren't simplified. We have one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths. So what we're doing is six times two is twelve, six times three, well that would be eighteen, and six times four is twenty-four. So for three-fourths gallon, we just multiply the six times the three. We can write a compound fraction to find the distance Dave's car can travel on one gallon of gasoline. So remember, compound fractions have a fraction in its numerator or denominator or both. And they're also known as complex fractions. We have six miles for one-fourth gallon of gasoline. We can write it as six one-fourths. And we know fractions are like little division problems. So we have six divided by one-fourth. We can write the whole number 6 over a 1, and we're going to flip this 1 fourth around to be its reciprocal, 
and then we're just going to multiply straight across. We're going to get 24 over 1. We simplify that to 24 miles per gallon. So now we know that Dave's car can travel 6 miles on 1 fourth gallon of gas and 24 miles on 1 gallon. Well, Sam's car can travel 8 miles on 1 third gallon of gasoline. How far will his car travel with 1 gallon, 2 gallons? We make a bar diagram. 1 third gallon is 8 miles. We've got 3 equal parts. So we know that this is going to be 8 miles and this is going to be 8 miles. And 8 times 3 is 24. He's getting 24 miles for 1 gallon. We can complete the table for Sam's car using multiples of 8. We can do 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2, that would be 16. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 6 for 2 gallons would be 48. We multiplied it by 6 because it's double this amount. If this is 8 times 3 for 1, then for 2, we're going to have 8 times 6. That's 48. And we can do 8 times 12 for 4. That would be 96 miles for 4 gallons of gas, just like Dave. So we completed the table for Sam's car using multiples of 8 or multiplying the gallons of gas by the rate of 24. So we found that Dave's car and Sam's car both get 24 miles per gallon. Dave was getting 6 miles per 1 fourth gallon, and Sam was getting 8 miles per 1 third gallon. That's both of them getting 24 miles per gallon. This one says Sarah's car can travel 7 miles on 1 fifth gallon of gasoline. How far can her car travel on 4 fifths gallon, or 1 gallon? We can make a bar and split it into fifths. We know one-fifth is seven miles, then four-fifths must be seven times four. That would be 28 miles. And five-fifths, same numerator and denominator, so that's a one whole. That would be one gallon. That would be seven times five, which is 35 miles per gallon. So that's it for 4.1a. We're going to move on to 4.1b, finding unit rates. Maybe you remember back in sixth grade when we were in chapter six, module six, we were learning about rates and ratios and unit rates. I'm going to talk about them some more. Have a really good day and join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.